The basic job of police officers been the same for a long time, ever since I've been on it. It's getting harder to do now, but the job's the same. We, we try to protect lives and property. We try to keep the peace out here. Try to keep everybody happy. It's, it's an almost an impossible job, but it's, a, it's good job security. Okay, we're going to a domestic dispute between a mother and her 16-year-old daughter. Back behind us there. Didn't give us any other information. I guess we'll find out what it's about when we get here. Which we're here. I got a 16-year-old daughter. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, if I could have her put in de uh, detention, I would right now. I got a 16-year-old daughter. Today, she uh, was uh, here with a whole bunch of boys in the house and some girls smoking dope. They in your house? In my house. They trashed my house. We found weed on the coffee table. That's how I know for a fact they were smoking reefer. Mm -hmm. She's getting way off track. Right. And she's a good girl going bad. Yeah, we'll be happy to talk to her. Y'all do that for us? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. Uh, I just found some residue of, of marijuana on the coffee table. We're cleaning the coffee table. My little girl found it. And she how went She's uh, 12. 12. Yeah. So 12 well, she she was cleaning the yeah. coffee table off, and she found the stuff on there. And I went in, I looked at it, and I, I saw the seeds and stuff. And I said, yeah, they were smoking dope in here. You looked through her room, the six-year-old? Uh, the 12, my 12-year-old? 12 no, I'm saying, you searched her the other daughters. Oh, the, uh, no, sir, I haven't searched that room. Well, you know, you, you have the right to do that if you want to. You can right. go through her stuff. Right. Um, what has she said about all this? Well, we're back here talking to her right now. Is she you denying know? it or is she admitting no, to it? No, she's admitting it. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll be happy to go in and see what we can yeah. say to her. All right, I appreciate it. Okay. Come on in. What's your daughter's name? Jatika. Jatika? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, I'll put your on the audible. Hey, you're 148. This is my wife, Pat. Hello, Pat. Jatika. Well, Jatika, do you know why we're here? Thank you. Would you like to tell me what went on this afternoon? I'm sorry, can't hear you. What kind of activities went on in here? They were smoking. Did you? What was they smoking? Weed. Would you smoke any weed too? I ain't put it in my mouth, but they gave me a shotgun. You inhale? Yes. Do you know that's illegal? Yes. Do you understand what would happen if the police came up here and y'all were smoking marijuana? Yes. And we caught you? Do you know where you'd be going and all your friends? Yes. You know what could happen to your parents' house if there's illegal drugs in it? Have you thought about that? You know, you, your mom and dad are very concerned. That's why they called us. They're very concerned about what happens to you, and they're very concerned about you having your friends over skipping school and using illegal drugs in their house. And you, the biggest thing you did today is violate their trust. They cannot leave this house right now without knowing what you're going to do. How can they go to work and think, my, my girl may be skipping school, and in with a bunch of boys, because you know there's a whole bunch of things running through their heads right now. Teenage pregnancy, drug abuse, and God knows what could have walked off today. Your parents have some nice things in this house, things they work for. They don't want to see them disappear. That's what happens when you bring these other people in your house. Actually, their house. No more drugs and no more skipping school. Do you understand? Yes. If you get caught again, if I get a call around here or the other officer or any of the other officers, this kind of activity is going on, there ain't going to be a second chance. Do you understand? Do you know where you're going to go? Don't want to hear any complaints about it. Where are you going to go? Jail. You're going to get locked up. No questions asked. Are we clear? And the reason why your parents are doing this is because they love you. Because if nothing else, if they know you're in a locked facility, they know you're all right. That's what it is, is love. They're not doing this because they're mean. because they love you and they care for you. We've been to a lot of houses where they wouldn't have called because they don't care. Your parents care. They want to see something, want to see you make something out of your life. 
because they can see where this is heading. If all you want out of life is to sit around and smoke dope with some boys that probably ain't going to go nowhere, that's easy. But if you want to make something in life, it's hard. Call us back if there's any more problems. Yes, sir. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you. You have a nice day. Okay. Thanks for coming. Keep on top of this, and if there's anything else we can do, yeah. let us know. We'll I'll help you sure out all call. we can. Yeah, I will, man. I'll call it in a heartbeat. I, you know, I say the biggest thing is now we don't know whether to trust her or not. You know what I mean? We work every day and stuff, and so we don't know. We, don't, we got a couple more days before school is out. All right. So we don't know, you know. Uh, okay. We don't know what's going to happen. Well, if you want to put yeah. some restrictions on her, it's uh, that's your prerogative. I mean, she, there's got to be some kind of punishment for it. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. you as a parent... You know, you know, you know what you can do and what you can't do. Right. Well, we, you know, we give her a key, you know, so that she can come home. Right. And be in the house, and she calls her mom, you know, when she when she gets gets out of school, and then her mom, you know, she thinks she's here, but then this kind of thing's been going on. So, right. and this isn't the first time. So this okay. is. Well, you need to monitor it, it the best you can. Um, yeah. Maybe come back when you're not expected to come back. Have a, a friend or a family member come by and check on her, you know, because she's yeah. broken the trust now. She has. Our so, neighbors are watching. That dude, right. She's the one that, that caught him, as a matter of fact. Have your neighbors yeah. pick up the phone, make sure they have your work numbers and, and how to get in touch with you. And if she's out here and got a crowd of uh, kids over here that's not supposed to be here, give right. you a call. If you have to leave work, you know, you just got to do right. it. Anything else we can do, let us know. All right. Thanks again. I'll